we do not use any AI. I do not do, you know, uh, strict keyword searches or anything like that. There are actual human eyes viewing your experience and viewing your resume. My name's Angie Meyer. I'm the Senior Manager of Talent Acquisition for Uship. I've been with the company just over seven and a half years and had the pleasure of, of growing and developing their talent acquisition program in the Austin area and advocating for our candidates and creating a consistent candidate experience. We look for people that are results oriented. We provide a lot of freedom and flexibility in our environment. Um, people get a lot of leeway to go about their day how they see fit. So we do look for qualities in those people. And I think one of the things that is most important to us are finding people that are curious by nature. Innovation is one of our core values. So we are always looking for people that are curious to help us continue to evolve. Resumes that are too long and do not contain relevant information. That's definitely a pet peeve <laughs> for me, especially if you're a senior level candidate. We understand you have a lot of experience under your belt but we don't necessarily need to see your entry-level jobs back in the early 90s. If you're interviewing for an AWS, you know, cloud engineer position, have that information up front. You can always say, you know, previous experience available upon request or something like that upon the end. So that's something that you can bring up during the interview and in the interview process if you have experiences that are applicable to, to what we're looking for. Two pages is genuinely enough, I believe. Typically within a few days of application, definitely within five days, within a handful of days, um, you get a response from us. And either you get a request for a phone screen or you know a polite decline. If you get a phone screen with me, if that call goes well, you move on to the hiring manager. If that goes well, given these times, we're doing everything remote, which has been perfectly fine for us um, to continue to do. That in-person interview, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two. It just depends on the level of position and the number of people cross-functionally involved, and whether it's one meeting or two meetings. And then we make a decision after that. So we really strive to get somebody through the full interview process um, from phone screen to you know the two in-person interviews to an offer. We try to do that within two and a half, three weeks at most. We have a pretty quick turnaround. We value diversity and inclusion because we listen to our employees and we listen to our customers. Ultimately, to care about diversity is to care about our customers. How else can we understand what it is our customers are wanting if our own company doesn't reflect our customers in general? So that's definitely important to us. We can't continue to evolve as a company and claim to be customer centric if we don't genuinely value and seek out the contributions of various backgrounds and experiences ourselves. We need to reflect our customer base. The one thing that I learned and will treasure forever was I was able to apply and implement the best of what I had learned previously in my career and was able to work with some of the most bright and driven people in the Austin tech community to build out the program that we have now for, for UShip. So in summary, I guess it's just the ability and the opportunity to work cross-functionally and build something from scratch. Do it, take the chance. You have nothing to lose. It is literally just me on the other side uh, and I value you. So, uh, you know, we're a small company. Every resume is reviewed personally. You get closure. You will know whether or not you're moving on um, in the process here. There's no black holes. And uh, I am personally passionate and sensitive to the unique diversity needs of our company uh, and advocating for, for you every step of the way.